May Breath Zion Lodge 62 in Columbus was formed in 1865. The early members were German immigrants and the early minutes were written in German until 1875. One of the early benefits of membership was that the lodge paid $4 per week in sick benefits and also a $40 funeral benefit. The Zion Lodge had an elaborate initiation procedure and a degree leadership program. Many prominent Jewish men rose to the presidency of the Zion Lodge and elections were typically competitive. At its peak, the Columbus Lodge was the largest in the country with more than 1,500 members. The Hillel Foundation was formed in 1925. The Hillel at Ohio State University was the second in the country. In 1948, the Shan Farber Hillel was dedicated. Throughout the years, the Zion Lodge supported Hillel and the Zion Lodge Foundation continues to provide financial support. In addition to Hillel, B'nai B'rith men encouraged Jewish youth through its AZA and BBG programs, which really took hold with the completion of the 1950 Jewish Community Center. The Lodge's $15,000 contribution was the largest gift to the JCC construction campaign. The AZA was founded by a guy by, by the name of Sam Bieber, B-E-B-E-R, who lived in Omaha, Nebraska. And he started this fraternity with a gang of teenagers to keep them off the streets and to make uh, a mensch out of them. And uh, along came B'nai Brith and adopted them and made them their junior organization of B'nai Brith. That's how AZA got started. And we had advisors from B'nai Brith. Pop Warkin was one of them, and he's the one that uh, often recited the creed of AZA, and that is honor your, your parents and be charitable and be good people. <clears throat> because when we grew up, they expect us to continue the good work, community work, that is. With the learnings of AZA, why, when we became eligible, I think at age 18 or 21, I don't remember now, we became members of B'nai B'rith. Now, I, I, among others, went through the chairs, and then I became Olive Godol, which is the president of ACA. And then from there, of course, I went through the chairs of B'nai B'rith, and then I became president of B'nai B'rith. So that's how I got involved in B'nai B'rith. B'nai B'rith has traditionally worked to protect Jews from unfair and anti-Semitic actions. In 1874, the Lodge protested sectarian prayers in the Columbus school system. In modern times, the Lodge had supported an active Anti-Defamation League program. Other programs included interfaith and intergroup teas, which attracted hundreds of non-Jews. Over its more than 100 years of prominence, Lodge 62 has been involved in numerous programs. Servicemen from both World Wars were supported during and after service by the Lodge members. The Lodge's blood donor program in Columbus was unequaled. Veterans were recognized at OSU football games. A hobby shop at Lockbourne Air Force Base was established and operated by the Zion Lodge members. The Zion Lodge also led efforts to sell war bonds, holding large rallies at Franklin County Stadium. The first local Jew to die in World War II was Sanford Lakin. In honor of his death, an award was established.